This video will discuss adjusting entries for accruals. Accruals are made to record revenues for services performed but not yet recorded and expenses incurred but not yet paid or recorded at the statement date. The adjusting entry for accruals will increase both a balance sheet and an income statement account. Revenues for services performed but not yet recorded are accrued revenues. Accrued revenues may accumulate or accrue with the passing of time, as in the case of interest revenue. Companies do not record interest revenue on a daily basis because it is impractical to do so. Accrued revenue may also result from services that have been performed but not yet billed nor collected such as commissions and fees. An adjusting entry records the receivable that exists at the balance sheet date and the revenue for the services performed during the period. An adjusting entry for accrued revenues results in an increase or a debit to an asset account and an increase or a credit to a revenue account. In October, Sierra Corporation performed guided services worth $200 that were not billed to clients. Because these services were not billed, they were not recorded. The accrual of this revenue increases an asset account, accounts receivable, and also increases a revenue account, service revenue. On November 10th, Sierra receives the cash of $200 for the services performed in October. The company records the collection of the receivables by a debit or an increase to cash and a credit or a decrease to accounts receivable. Revenues for services performed but not yet recorded at the statement date are accrued revenues. Prior to the adjustment, both assets and revenues are understated. The adjusting entry increases an asset account as well as a revenue account. Expenses incurred but not yet paid or recorded at the statement date are called accrued expenses. Interest, taxes, utility, and salaries are common examples of accrued expenses. Companies make adjustments for accrued expenses to record the obligations that exist at the balance sheet date and to recognize the expenses incurred in the accounting period. An adjusting entry for accrued expenses results in an increase or a debit to an expense account and an increase or a credit to a liability account. Sierra signed a three-month note payable in the amount of $5,000 on October 1st. The note requires Sierra to pay interest at an annual rate of 12%. The amount of interest recorded is determined by three factors. The face value of the note, also referred to as principal. The interest rate, which is always expressed as an annual rate. And finally, the length of time the note is outstanding. The formula for calculating interest is the face value of the note multiplied by the annual interest rate, and then multiplied by time in terms of one year. When we calculate interest, we express the time period as a fraction of one year. Sierra will record one twelfth or one month of interest at the end of October. The adjusting entry will increase or debit interest expense and increase or credit interest payable for $50. Sierra will not pay the interest until the note comes due at the end of three months. Sierra will record the same adjusting entry at the end of the next two periods to record the interest charges for the month of November as well as December. Interest payable shows the amount of interest the company owes at the statement date. The total interest due on the $5,000 note at its maturity date, three months in the future, is $150 or $50 for each month.
Companies pay for some expenses, such as employee salaries and wages, after the services have been performed. Sierra paid salaries on October 26 for its employees' first two weeks of work. The next payment of salaries will not occur until November 9th. So we need to record the three working days in October, October 29th, 30th, and 31st. The salaries for these three days represent an accrued expense and related liability. The employees receive total salaries of $2,000 for a five-day work week, or $400 per day. The accrued salaries at October 31st are $1,200, and that's calculated by taking the $400 per day and multiplying that by the three days. The adjusting entry increases or debits salary and wages expenses and increases or credits salary and wages payable. After this adjustment, the balance in salary and wages expense represent the actual expense for the month of October. The balance in the salary and wages payable of $1,200 is the amount that Sierra owes as of October 31st. Expenses incurred but not yet paid or recorded at the statement date are called accrued expenses. Interest and salaries are common examples of accrued expenses. Prior to the adjustment, both liabilities and expenses are understated. An adjusting entry for accrued expenses results in an increase or a debit to an expense and an increase or a credit to a liability account. The solution to this exercise will be provided in another file. This slide summarizes the four types of adjusting entries. Take some time to study and understand these entries. Be sure to note that each adjusting entry affects one balance sheet account and one income statement account. This is a great exercise that incorporates both deferrals and accruals. The solution to this exercise will be provided in another file.